the James Webb Space Telescope has peered deep into the cosmic night, and uncovered something astounding. Far beyond our galaxy, in a system filled with mystery and light, it found signs that life may not be unique to Earth. Floating in the universe like a lonely raft, the exoplanet K218b now holds our imagination. This planet lies in the constellation known as Leo, around 120 light years away from our solar system. It orbits a red dwarf star, glowing faint but steady in the darkness of space. Scientists first spotted it using earlier space telescopes, but now JWST brings a sharper view. It's not just another exoplanet in the vast cosmic catalog. K218b is classified as a Hycean world, rich in hydrogen and possibly covered in oceans. Its thick atmosphere could be the key to hosting alien life in deep water bodies. The planet is larger than Earth, stretching 2.6 times its diameter. Its mass is nearly 8.6 times that of Earth, making it a super-Earth. This class of planet might be more common than rocky ones like our own. Until now, mini-Neptunes were mysterious, often assumed to be gas giants in disguise. But K218b changes that narrative with evidence of rocky surfaces and active atmospheres. Earlier, the Hubble Space Telescope detected water vapor swirling in its skies. That alone made it an exciting target for future observations. Then came the James Webb, with its near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. It scanned K218b during a transit, as the planet passed in front of its star. Starlight filtered through the atmosphere, leaving a trail of spectral fingerprints. These fingerprints showed signs of methane and carbon dioxide, both tied to life on Earth. Even more surprisingly, it found dimethyl sulfide, or DMs. On Earth, this molecule is mostly produced by phytoplankton in the oceans. Its presence on K218b could point to biological activity. It's like hearing a whisper behind a curtain, you can't see who's there, but you sense something. These gases act as clues, telling scientists that chemical processes may be happening beneath the clouds. Imagine giant oceans stretching across the surface, protected by layers of gas. Radiation from the red dwarf star might be intense, but a thick atmosphere could block the flares. This introduces a whole new idea of what a habitable zone might look like. We used to think only sun-like stars could host life, but now red dwarfs are in focus. They are the most numerous stars in the Milky Way, making this discovery even more important. A hydrogen-rich atmosphere increases greenhouse warming, keeping oceans warm even far from a star. This could allow life to thrive on planets we once ignored. So how do we know what gases float above K218b? The James Webb uses infrared spectroscopy to decode light. When light passes through the atmosphere, certain wavelengths are absorbed by specific molecules. Each molecule leaves a unique signature, like a cosmic barcode. This lets scientists read the chemical language of distant worlds. Before JWST, we could only see a few wavelengths at a time. Now we can build full molecular profiles of exoplanet atmospheres. We're entering the age of biosignature detection, and it feels like the dawn of a new ERA. But what makes methane and CO2 so critical? On Earth, they're byproducts of microbial life, and organic decomposition. Their coexistence suggests active sources of carbon, possibly biological. However, geological activity can also create these gases. So scientists are cautious and seek multiple observations to confirm their biological origin. That's why more telescope time is already scheduled for K218b. They aim to refine their models and confirm whether DMs is really present. Even without proof of life, 
K218b stands as a milestone in exoplanet science. It shows that planets with life-friendly conditions may be more common than we imagined. The idea that alien oceans exist, covered by hydrogen sky, is no longer just a dream. Just 10 years ago, we didn't even know Hycean worlds existed. Now, one of them might be telling us we're not alone. This is about more than one planet. It changes how we look at all exoplanets, especially those around red dwarfs. These stars, once thought too hostile, may be teeming with life beneath their flares. And JWSD's success proves we've entered a new astronomical ERA. It's not just science fiction anymore. We're starting to hear the whispers of distant worlds. Chemical messages drift through space, telling stories of chemistry, energy, and perhaps life. The telescope will soon examine more worlds, looking for water, oxygen, and even chlorophyll-like molecules. Every molecule tells a tale about the planet it floats on. Scientists are also rethinking what alien life could look like. Would it resemble bacteria, or something unimaginable? Could they breathe methane and glow under infrared light? We must keep an open mind because nature loves variation. Some planets may appear dead but hide life beneath ice shells. Others may show chemical mixtures we've never seen before. Each discovery stretches our view of what's possible in the cosmos. The more we find, the more we realize how little we know. And all of this started with a telescope pointed at a quiet star. A planet like K218b, cloaked in mystery, may be the first step in a much larger journey. We now understand that Hycean worlds could be more stable, more numerous, and more fertile than Earth-like planets. Their thick atmospheres shield them, preserve heat, and foster chemical diversity. They may not need a sun-like star, just water, heat, and time. It's a powerful reminder that life finds a way, even in places we never thought to look. While we're far from spotting alien cities, we may be close to confirming alien microbes. K218b is the start, but not the end. JWSD will examine planets near and far, one spectrum at a time. Each observation adds to our cosmic storybook, page by glowing page. We'll search for ozone, nitrogen, and other traces of life. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find proof that Earth is not alone in its ability to support life. This isn't just astronomy, it's a quest for our place in the universe. As K218b drifts through the blackness, its whispers reach us. They hint at life, chemistry, and the unseen. We must listen, learn, and continue our journey through the stars. Because each planet, each molecule, each spectrum, brings us closer to the truth. We are explorers, not just of land and sea, but of worlds beyond imagination. With every new discovery, we redraw the map of what's possible. We thought Earth was unique, but the cosmos is revealing its secrets. And JWSD is the tool that's helping us unlock those mysteries. Even as we wait for confirmation, the data is revolutionary. It sparks dreams, inspires theories, and fuels our curiosity. The universe has been silent for so long, but now it speaks through light and chemistry. We're just beginning to learn its language. Let's keep listening, keep searching, and keep wondering. Because the next world we study might not just whisper, it might sing. And when it does, we'll be ready to understand. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.